Hi everybody. Well, I wanted to make a little video about the water system that I'm putting in my house. Uh, my house was originally built with galvanized steel water pipes, which rotted out, rotted out so bad actually that the water pressure was down to a dribble. So I took it all out, except for one line right here that's still installed. But I took the rest of it out and I installed new PEX lines. So you can see there's my water meter coming into the house. And I put in a ball valve and then right into a three quarter inch uh, potable water PEX line. So ran that up to the ceiling, made a turn, came down to this part of the house where I installed a manifold system. So I have my white line coming in. That's my cold water supply. And I brought that to a six port manifold. On the end of the manifold, I installed a hose bib just so I could have access to water down in the basement. And then on here, these lines are just going to different faucets in the house. One of them goes to my clothes washer, one goes to the kitchen sink for cold, one of them is running over to the bathroom to supply cold water for the sink, the tub, and the toilet. Uh, the other one is going to supply my heating system. And then finally, this last one goes over to supply my electric water heater. So this is a Ream model RETE 13 uh, instant on-demand uh, tankless water heater, whatever you want to call it. And it runs on 240 volts. So the cold water comes in, and right now my groundwater is coming in around 58 degrees because it's, uh, it's November. November in Pennsylvania, it gets cold. So it's coming out uh, pretty much at whatever temperature I want to set it at. Right now I have it set to, uh, it looks like one line, one line above the M for medium. And that sends the water out at about 105 degrees, which is uh, plenty hot for us to take a shower here. So coming in at 58, going out around 105, that's, uh, that's quite a temperature increase. So out of the heater, back down into another manifold, uh, this time just a four port manifold. And I have only two lines going out. One's going to my kitchen sink and the other one's going over to the bathroom to supply the bathroom sink and the shower. And I have a third one there in case I ever want to run it over to my washing machine. So, just a little review on the heater. When I first turned the system on uh, a couple weeks ago, I was absolutely shocked at how well it worked and how hot the water came out. Uh, I wasn't really expecting much being that it's such a small unit and literally, I mean, you know, there's my hand and there's the unit. I mean, it's, it's amazingly small. Uh, however, it, uh, it absolutely delivers. Uh, in all the weeks we've been using it now, uh, never run out of hot water. And actually, you know, we only have it set to about, you know, the middle of the dial. And quite honestly, if you turn it up to high, it goes high. Uh, I have not cranked it up and measured the temperature at the highest, highest setting. But as high as I ever went to, it, I could get this up to uh, 130 degrees. So quite a significant temperature increase from a 58 degree supply which is absolutely too hot and there's no need to no need to turn it up that high so I don't uh, pretty much the theory that we run on is have this temperature set to what we like and then when you take a shower all you have to do is turn the hot water on you don't need any cold so why make it too hot and then blend it back cold when you can just make it the temperature that you like so that's about it. Not a very complicated system. It's a small house with one kitchen, one bath, and one washer. So, uh, 
small system, small house, easy install, and uh, absolutely love the heater. And uh, recommend it to anyone looking to replace a tank heater, or in my case, uh, to not not have to burn oil from that tank in this oil boiler, uh, which was. Uh, costing a fortune to just to use hot water especially in the summertime so this is a much better option uh, takes up absolutely no space uh, can't say enough good about it so if you have any questions or any comments please post them below and thanks for watching